you all nothing about this case is typical. Lawyers on both sides arguing what they think jurors should and should not hear. When Fabian Gonzalez goes to trial and what the state is bringing up, they want jurors to tour that crime scene, the apartment where Victoria was killed. Today via Zoom, lawyers on both sides told the judge what witnesses and evidence they want used in the case against Fabian Gonzalez. He's charged with child abuse resulting in death and tampering with evidence in the case involving 10-year-old Victoria Martins, a little girl murdered and mutilated in her mother's West Side apartment in August 2016. Today, the state asked the judge if jurors could tour that apartment when the trial gets underway. And when I went in there, it, it, I was shocked at how small it looked. The state wants jurors to see the size of that apartment and how this crime could have taken place without other people inside hearing what was happening to Victoria. Her mother took a plea deal in this case for allowing two people she didn't know to move in with her and her daughter. Jessica Kelly also took a plea deal. She told police a stranger came to the apartment and killed Victoria, that she and her cousin, Fabian Gonzalez, cleaned up the crime scene, something he denies. The state concedes that Michelle Martins fell asleep in her master bedroom and that she was unaware that her daughter had been murdered. Defense attorneys argue taking jurors to the apartment would be a media circus. The judge said if she allows that tour, jurors would likely walk through the apartment individually. Now, the judge also said she'll likely have potential jurors. She'll ask them if they're okay taking that tour before she makes a decision on this. Still no trial date set yet in this case. Live in Albuquerque, I'm Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. Back late, to you. Late this afternoon, attorneys for Fabian Gonzalez say he is running out of money. Three years ago, he fired his public defender and hired a private attorney.